Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Android developers might find themselves asking. Our viewer is curious about how to import the Room Persistence library into their Android project after seeing its exciting new features announced at Google I.O. The viewer mentions they've been exploring the official documentation but are struggling to find the necessary dependencies to add to their Gradle file. Don't worry, we're here to break it down and help you get started with Room and SQLite databases in your Android projects. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through a question, going through those answers, and hopefully it leads to your solution. Remember, stay a little bit crazy, just like me, to get through to your resolution. Now let's get started. To import the Room Persistence Library into your Android project, we first need to open the build.gradle file for your app module. In the dependencies section of your build.gradle file, you will need to add the room components. Here are the dependencies you should include. If you're using Kotlin, make sure to apply the Kotlin capped plugin at the top of your build.gradle file. After adding the dependencies, Sync your project with Gradle files to ensure everything is set up correctly. Finally, you can start using Room in your project by creating your entities, DAO, and database classes. Check the official documentation for more details. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To import the Room Persistence library into your Android project, add the following dependencies in your app's build.gradle file. Next, ensure you include the necessary repositories in your root-level build.gradle file. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To import the Room Persistence library into your Android project, start by adding the Google Maven repository. Open the build.gradle file for your project and include the repository URL. Next, open the build.gradle file for your app or module. Here, you'll add the necessary dependencies for Room and other architecture components. Finally, to include Room, add the following lines to your dependencies. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To import the Room Persistence library into your Android project, start by opening the build.gradle file for your project. Add the necessary lines to enable access to the Google repository. Next, open the build.gradle file for your app module.
For Java, add the room dependencies to the existing dependencies section. If you're using Kotlin, apply the Kotlin cap plugin at the top of the file. Then, add the room dependencies to the dependencies section. To stay updated with the latest room dependencies, visit the Maven repository. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To import the Room Persistence library into your Android project, first define the Room version. Then, add the necessary dependencies for Room Runtime, Room with RxJava, and the Room compiler using CAPT. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To import the Room Persistence library into your Android project, start by adding some configurations in your project-level Gradle file. Next, you need to add dependencies in your module-level Gradle file. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.